In this video, we'll show you how to set up your AP360 or AP362 label applicator. First, locate the roll bar, roll guides, and roll drag arm. The roll guides and roll drag arm are removable and adjustable. They are held in place magnetically. Remove one roll guide from the roll bar. Lift the roll drag arm up as you place the label stock roll on the roll bar. Push the stock until it meets the roll guide. Place the roll on the roll bar with the loose end of the stock feeding underneath the roll from the back. The rounded tip of the roll drag arm should be in the center of the inside of the core. The arm is spring-loaded so that there is downward pressure on the inside of the roll. The roll drag arm helps prevent application alignment problems near the end of a roll. For larger width label roll cores, you may need to reverse the roll guide so that the bottom of the guides are facing in to allow the uprights to be placed next to the roll. Pull the loose end of the label stock forward and push it into the feed area from the back of the label applicator. The labels will come out just underneath the peel edge. It may be easier to feed the stock through this area if you angle it slightly. Pull approximately 12 inches of label stock out beyond the peel edge. Take the loose label stock and feed it between the liner idler roller and liner drive roller. In order to feed the label stock between the rollers, the liner idler roller should be in the unclamped position. Pull the stock all the way through until the end of the roll is laying over the top of the label stock roll and the peel edge is between two labels. Align the labels around the peel edge with the label roll. The edge of the label stock should be parallel to the side plates. Adjust the label sensor using the label sensor brackets so the label sensor flag is roughly centered on the label stock. Push the liner idler roller into the clamped position. The labels are now ready for application. The AP360 and 362 can apply labels to a variety of containers including wine bottles, soda bottles, jars, cans, and more. Depending on the container type that you are labeling, you have several different options. For this video, we will use a soda bottle. For more information on other container types, consult your user's manual. Lift the container pressure arm to a height well above the height of the container. Position the container idler roller so that the container is at the highest possible position that is still stable. There are four optional positions for the container idler roller provided by the notches in the side plates. The smaller the diameter of the container, the closer the rollers need to be positioned to each other. For this soda bottle, we have chosen the second position. Place the container on the container idler roller and container drive roller. Orient the container with the top to the left or the right, depending on the orientation of your labels on the label stock roll. Adjust the container guide so the labels will be placed in the desired location on the container. Use the thumb screws to secure them in place. Move the container pressure arm right or left until it is roughly centered on the container. Remove the container. Push down the arm approximately a half inch more. Attempt to place the container back on the rollers. The container pressure arm is spring-loaded to put pressure on the top of the containers. If wrinkling occurs, put light pressure on the top of the pressure arm as you apply the label. Press the foot switch to apply the label. If you want to apply two labels to a container, press the mode button once to display the current memory location. While this is displayed, press the Recall Reset button repeatedly to move to the desired memory location, F1 through F9. You can choose any location other than F0. F0 is reserved for single labels. Press the plus or minus button to adjust the distance value to be set for this memory location. This value represents the distance in inches between the front and back label. Now when the foot switch is pressed, the first label will be applied immediately. The container will then rotate the distance you have set and then the second label will be applied. To learn more about the AP360 or AP362, visit us at www.primaralabel.com.